What is up, Flippers? Future uh, Zenshi here. Um, so yeah, when I uh, recorded this uh, unboxing for this zipper here, I uh, had just woken up about 20 minutes ago and just went out to the mailbox, grabbed it, and pressed record and uh, and just went for it. So uh, I left out quite a bit of information that um, usually on an unboxing video I wouldn't mind just you know uploading it raw. The raw unboxing okay yeah by the way uh sorry for the uh fire alarm we uh changed out the battery and it is still beeping so you're just gonna have to bear with me for this video but um <clears throat> but yeah usually i wouldn't mind uh doing a raw unboxing video and doing a review later but but since this is a uh first production run of a super unique uh, battle song design here with so many different unique little features going on um, I thought I really should include it all in one video so you guys get a better idea and don't have to uh, go elsewhere and do research you can kind of just get it all here in one video so um, yeah I forgot to mention this is called the zipper by zippy battle songs you can find them on Instagram at zippy battle song um, <clears throat> So this is uh, 3D printed. Uh, these, the handles here are actually two different um, pieces of plastic. I don't remember exactly which plastic it is, but this plastic is super durable. I saw a demo video of him um, smashing it with a hammer. I don't know if it was him, but someone was smashing the handles with a hammer and uh, they were not giving at all. So yeah, this is super durable. We have two different uh, pieces, so he calls this a chanwich, a channel sandwich design, because as you can see, there's still, I think you can see that, there's still some, some gap between there, but um, yeah, really cool design. As you can see, there's these little ball bearings uh, in the handles that give it a, a certain weight to it. Uh, when I first flipped it out of the box, it was really weird to me for some reason. But honestly, I think it's just because it's so neutral. Like, look at that. That's pretty neutral, right? Let's compare that to the Vortex should be pretty neutral. It's about right there. What is that? That's like an inch. That's an inch from the pivots. Let's see right here. Yeah, it looks like a little bit more than the inch, maybe. Yeah, so this is really uh, neutral, and I uh, actually really, really like these ball bearings here for grip. Like, grip-wise, it feels amazing. However, I think it is throwing the balance off a, a little bit. I don't know, maybe if you just shove that the tungsten all the way up into the tip, maybe that will help. But uh, I know that will be probably pretty hard with the way it looks like it's inserted in there. Um, maybe, maybe you could insert it from like down here somewhere and just fill the tip with tungsten or something. Um, yeah, all in all, this flips amazingly. Like I, f I feel like this flips more like, it feels more like a actual balisong than the squiddy does. The squiddy, like... The balance is there, it flips good, but feels more like a toy that, I don't know, it's a very weird comparison, honestly. I thought it would be very easy to compare these two, but honestly, I've been wanting to hate on the Squiddy since I bought it. Um, solely because of the price tag for this thing. Um, but it does flip well. I do honestly like how it flips. It hugs your fingers. The balance and weight distribution, all that seems to be there. I mean, Lucas really designed a nice little BBC bell song here. Um, 
Yeah, but I love flipping this. Like, I like flipping it more than the Squiddy because it feels more like an actual battle song experience. Doesn't feel like a a fidget toy. This has a much more tactile feel. Feels more like uh, you feel way more in control when flipping this. Um, whereas with the Squiddy, like if it kind of feels like the Vortex, where it's doing the work for you. Like you just kind of throw it, and it just hugs your finger. And it just, it does the work for you. If you want a Tesla, something just to run on auto autopilot, just to throw around your fingers, I mean, I guess the Squiddy's the way to go. But if you want something more tactile where your input really matters and you can really focus on exactly how you want to flip, I feel like you can get way more creative and um, technical. Yeah, I think you you can get way more technical with with this uh, with this uh, lightweight plastic balisong than you can with the Squiddy. There's much more weight to it. Again, the uh, these bearings right here give a really nice grip to it. I really like the feel overall. As you can see, the handles are pretty blocky, but for whatever reason, these little bearings just these little bearings just like completely off-put the blockiness of the handles and makes it really feel really good. Um, So yeah, I wanted to address some of the uh, some of my concerns I had also in the first unboxing video, because I actually messaged uh, the uh, creator and owner of Zippy Balasong myself, and um, and uh, he gave me some feedback on my feedback. Uh, the weight, I believe, he said he's going to add some tungsten weights for the handles down here, so that will be nice. I think that will. Uh, he said he really likes flipping it on that one, so I'd be really interested in seeing how that flips. Um, next up was the handle slap. Um, yeah, he said a lot of people gave him feedback on that, on the handle slap, and uh, he basically said, uh, he was like, wow, I didn't know that was going to be that big of an issue. Um, on his website, he has a frequently asked questions page which I did not fully read. <laughs> I still have not fully read, but I, uh, whoops, I skimmed through it. Yeah, I have not fully read it, but, um, uh, I skimmed through it and, um, and he actually mentions the handle slap, um, in, in his FAQ on his website. Um, so yeah, there are magnets in these handles. And uh, I didn't really feel them at first, but as you can see, if I were to try to hold these handles right where they would stay in comparison to the uh, in comparison to the uh, Zen nipple there, they just repel away. So that's the magnets at work right there. Um, you can see here if I just kind of if I just kind of hold it here in the closed position. That's where it'll sit naturally with the, the Zen cups, but as you can see, it just pushes it away right there. So that's those magnets working. Um, I think he said there is an option to get another magnet because it only comes with three magnets, I'm pretty sure, on each handle. Man, my air, why do I keep, keep dropping my aerials today? Or right now, not today. Uh, <laughs> Well, it just turned 12. It's just past 12, so I guess today. 
Um, so yeah, he designed, he actually already designed a, um, a Zen nipple that's bigger. And uh, he actually hopped on a video call with me this morning to uh, demonstrate how that looks, how that blade with the new Zen nipple looks uh, with the handles. And giving the handles enough, enough, uh, giving the handles enough gap to reduce the handle slap caused another problem wherein, if you see here, you see there's a bit of bounce right there, right? Well, if I, if I kind of just put my finger, if I just put my finger right there, you can see I can catch all that bounce fairly easily. And, uh, oops. Can I get a good aerial today? What's going on? Um... Yeah, I don't know. So I initially thought that the bounce was going to be a problem because it was quite a bit of bounce. As you can see here, the bounce is very minimal. Um, but on the bigger Zen pin, um, or Zen nipple, uh, it was, the handle was bouncing like way up here. So that could be a problem, but I am really interested to see how that flips with that bigger Zen nipple to see if it's, you know, if it's as easy as just, you know, putting your fingers in the middle there, or if it's, you know, you're going to be flipping and it's going to be so uncontrollable that it's just going to be bouncing all over the place. So, um, yeah, I just messaged him right now. <laughs> um, it's kind of late though, so I'm going to have to wait for the morning or tomorrow for him to reply. Um, I told him I'd be interested in testing out the uh, testing out that new Zen nipple um, to see if it's going to really be a problem or not. Because I initially told him that yeah, it probably would be a problem with how bouncy it is, but on second thought, I'm really thinking that it won't be that bad, and uh, getting rid of the handle slap might be worth it because when doing like aerials and stuff, it just doesn't sound good. You know, but um, yeah, the bite handle or the bite blade indicator. He did a, he did say something about it. I don't remember what he said now, but I think he is going to upgrade that. Um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. I'll probably. Uh, redo it because that sucked as much as the first video <laughs> but yeah zippy zipper zipper ballast song by by zippy ballast songs this ballast song this ballast song is the zipper by zippy ballast song check them out really cool innovative ideas and designs here and uh yeah this is one of my daily drivers something i'll be flipping every day and probably carrying on me everywhere I go also because this is not going to get me in trouble in public anywhere. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, Flippers. Stay tuned for more, and I will catch you in the next one.